I am packing the holiday orders and I know how much many of you enjoy the packing order videos. So I thought, why don't you come along and see what's up? So I have my fun, festive, peppermint inspired candy paper. Into this order, the first thing I'm gonna put in is a fresh snow soap. This person chose the snowman. Isn't he just so cute? I just love how all of these little shaped soaps turned out. They make great stocking stuffers and I do have some still available. This one, Fresh Snow, is a very winter linen type scent. I'll put that in there and I'm going to hold that back for a moment. We have a Holly Jolly, which is totally classic. Right there. And then they also ordered a mojito. Had a big sale over the weekend. So all of the new and old, not old, but you know, already listed products were for sale. This actually needs to go over here. Of my festive shred. I ordered a festive forest room and linen spray. I always ship it with a piece of plastic under the lid and a cap, just a regular screw on um, cap lid. And then the sprayer comes on the side, you can put it in. It just helps it um, to prevent against leaking. And we have two festive forest soy wax melt. Now the soy does, um, frost just a little bit. That's just the nature of soy wax melt, the colored one. Let's see how I would prefer to do this. To make a little cozy pocket right here for the one. And the other one will be cozy right, right there. So for samples, I'm going to do a winter berry. This is just a beautiful, um, well, the description is snow covered winter berries, vetiver, vetiver, yep, pine and musk. I'll tuck that in. And then for a soap sample, we already have a holly jolly. I think I'll do a peppermint. So I have a peppermint soap sample. We'll tuck that in right there. And then always during the holidays, always, 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 I do my little cocoa and a candy cane packet. Put that there. I need to mark off my list. I'm gonna put the packing list. I got in trouble for calling it an invoice. However, it all says invoice, every last one of them. invoice. So I do call it an invoice because that's what they call it. This is my business card. Same as last year. Just thought it's super duper cute. Love it. Oops. Okay. So then time to finish it up. Everybody tucked in here on the sides, real nice. And we have ribbon. As always, gotta do the ribbon for the holiday season. And I'm not the most amazing ribbon bow maker, but I do my best. Gotta have sharp, sharp scissors. I love these uh, Scotch titanium scissors. And then I just have a cute little Sticker says happy holidays wishing you a very merry holiday season I just put that right there So here we have just a delightful little package Always smack down the 
corners so that they'll slide in the mailer nice. I like to use these um, padded flat rate envelopes from the post office. They're free for us here in America. And the reason why, I am able with the box to get more packed in a small compact package like this for a little less cost. So I always try to use the box, but the box does cost me. So because of that, I do have a small shipping and handling fee. There's always going to be additional cost over if I sold a product to somebody locally. So we have the box, we have the shred, you know, all this stuff is needed. While I do it to be, you know, I like things to look nice, but it also serves a purpose in that it protects everybody. I do get occasional comments and it's kind of discouraging that people feel this way and they'll be like, oh my gosh, is anybody else bothered by the amount of shred that she put in or whatever? Well, you know, frankly, my friends, if this package doesn't get where it's going safely, it's gonna cost everybody a whole lot more and we're gonna waste a whole lot of product and time and energy to do a claim, to replace it, etc. So it's just best to get it there right in the first place. I have dealt with many a claim back in my old work days. Did not do that. And if your package, it may be insured for as much as you want, but if your package is not packed properly in the first place, they're not going to honor a claim. So you got to get it right in the first place. Otherwise, in the end, it does end up being a waste of supplies. Okay, so here is my next order. And it's pretty good sized. I'm very thankful for that. And let me think. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I'm going to have to upgrade to a regional box. This is going to Florida. The regional rate A is still going to be the least expensive option for the upgrade. So the regional A, well, I'll get one. It's all prepped out already, but. The Regional A is a nice box size in between. It's a flat rate even though it's, um, it's regional but it's still flat rate and that means that the price is going to vary some depending on what region it's going to but it is still like flat rate as far as weight. It does not, um, the weight isn't as particular as if you were just shipping priority that wasn't in a flat rate situation. So that's more of a flat weight, I guess. So it's kind of they kind of let you do your weight. And let's see. So I have an apple cinnamon. I still have quite a bit left of the fall release products. I have sweet tea. All very lovely ones. It was a good time to stock up. Yes, it was. So we still have luscious lemon goat milk. And we have a figgy cream here. I need to be checking these off my list. So luscious lemon, figgy, sweet tea. Those are actually the, those were the, the sweet tea and the apple cinnamon were the gone wonky variety. They're either a little lighter weight or there's an air hole or, you know, an air pocket or whatever. So I put those in there in the Gone Wonky listing. And then this is a holiday soap, cranberry mint. Nice. And we have the peppermint sea salt soaps. They're so cute. Shape of a snowflake. These also make great stocking stuffers. Probably should check and see how much are left, but I don't think they're sold out. So also stocking up, they got anise and mojito and a citrus. These are all essential oil soaps. Completely and totally delightful. I think 
put a smidgen down in there. In all of my time packing orders, I think I've only had two become damaged to the point of replacement. I've never felt it necessary to file a claim. Nothing's been um, damaged to that point yet. And I attribute that to being able to pack an order decently. I did have a package go missing at the very beginning of packing orders six years ago. And it turns out that I was being scammed by someone in the UK and they didn't want to have to pay for their duties and all of that. So they claimed that it didn't arrive and I was able to prove that it had arrived and it did turn around and come back to me. So PayPal backed me up on that one. The tracking is all very important to us with PayPal. Okay, let's see what we want to put in here. So anise, citrus, mojito, cranberry mint, and the peppermint snowflake. Yep, it's all in there. So of course, how to do a cocoa packet. So nice. So we got the cocoa packet in there. And because she ordered some regular types, those tubs for a second. I've got, I have got samples all over the place. I think I will put in a triple milk. That was the last of that triple milk sample. And I think I'll put in a eucalyptus spearmint. Because I still have all this. And then, what do I want to do for the holiday one? Let's put in a Holly Jolly. I have a whole bunch of those, so I'm gonna put in a Holly Jolly sample. Find a place for him to tuck in there. Super cozy. Okay, so in with the important stuff. Now I will do some um, gift packaging for you if you request it. Um, for the most part, everything still has to be packaged up like this. If I am, which means that your recipient can't really just pull it out and put it under the tree or what have you. Um, if you want it to be able to be pulled out like that, you're just going to have to send me a message and we'll see what we can do. But a lot of it just depends on what the packaging can be for shipping. And then I have tags that I will digitally uh, customize for you in a to from situation. So this one says a gift for you. A lot of times if um, someone just says that it's a gift, I'll do something along these lines. But if you ask, I have a Merry Christmas one and I can do a Happy Holidays one and I just customize that with names and print those out and then I will leave out the invoice slash packing slip for you but like I said like sometimes the um, little brown box that I just used on the order before I can gift package it gift wrap it and tie it with a bow and put on the gift tag and it'll still slide in one of these so if it's uh, going close to me in the region, then it's usually not going to be any additional. But if it's going to the coast or whatever, then it will cost a little bit more. So that's just something we may have to discuss at the time. But I just wanted you to know that I will do that for you. And if you just want the little tag, there's no extra for that. And that way, you can order directly from me and then I will drop it in the mail to your recipient. Now the post office is saying that our deadline for priority is December 20th. So 
back that up for me on orders probably t the 15th would be a good deadline except for sometimes the post office does increase their shipping times during the holidays and it doesn't seem to me like the 20th is a very good deadline but you know it may be okay so just keep that in mind for the next one i'm going to see if i can get it into this little box unfortunately bulky items going first class they really need a box unless it's just soap and so it can be a pain to have the box and it actually fit in the first class amount you know it's restricted to less than 16 ounces so i'm gonna try this i haven't done this yet helps if you get the right length in the first place so you can just work on this one with me We'll see how this goes. I have a feeling I won't stick with it. I have a feeling. I quite often get asked where I'm getting my packaging from. If you just Google it, you're going to find the same options that I have. So typically the top three are Uline, Nashville Wraps, and Paper Mart. I'm a Paper Mart girl. And they're my first choice. And they've been very kind to me and leave comments on my channel every now and again. So I just love that. I just want to um, kind of give back to them for recognizing me, if that makes sense. I just think it's awesome when a company works with their clients and their customers to just keep everybody happy. Everybody's just happy, happy, happy. All right, so I just eyeballed that paper on the side and I must say I'm sort of impressed with my abilities because it fit perfectly. I don't always eyeball things right, but I have eyeballed that right this day. So, into this one, we have a Mary Cranberry shaped soap. Again, perfect for stocking stuffers. I don't know why these didn't sell out. I get a lot of requests for shaped soaps or, you know, certain scents or whatever. And like 95% of the time, those are never popular soaps and they are never uh, purchased by the original requester. Now, that's not always the case. I have some amazing customers that request things and I make it and they must buy tons of it. So I'm not saying that, but typically you can ask probably most vendors that tends to be the situation. So this guy is a reindeer. Isn't he cute? I also have sleighs. I haven't sold a single, single sleigh. So maybe I'm completely off my rocker, but I just think these are adorable. This is Mary Cranberry and this is Fresh Snow. And I just think they look so cute on the soap dish next to your sink during the holiday season. So I've got plenty of them. They make great stocking stuffers also. So here we go. This does not have any bubble wrap. So I'm going to use some extra shred. And then we have the festive forest wax melt again. I feel like I'm not happy. I admit that it does take me longer to pack orders than most people, but I have to say, I don't just throw them in the box in the mailers and send them on their happy way. It's a very personalized situation. I just feel so thankful that everyone has decided to order and spend their hard-earned money at my store, and I want to make it special for you, and I want it to get there safely, so, in with that bubble wrap. I'm telling you, this is probably still going to be fruitless. I bet you anything I switch it up in the end. And bump this one up. Okay. So, back in. With the ribbon. And now, back with the tissue. I'm not going to worry about tissue on the side. The, the little ones get a little bit more tedious, don't they? Okay, so now I can just put that in like so. And let's see, where did you go? There you are. That way he kind of just will ride along on the top there. So, let's see. I'm gonna put in a wild berry blizzard. A soap sample. 
and I really don't have room or probably weight, but let me check, let me check. I'll be. I do believe that we're gonna make this a go. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little wax melt and the cocoa. Have to go pretty tight with the packing slip slash invoice, but we all fit. Okay, how is this going to work? You're gonna try to pop up on me. Don't pop up. I better prepare my tissue first. Okay, we're good there, but this is probably gonna pop up again. There we go. Is that just cute as a button or what? Remembers the jingle bells. I love the jingle bells. All right, we need a sticker. Just like this one, I have to slide at the corner. That worked out. I just weighed it and it's only 14 ounces so yay it still goes first class and everything should be in there nice and safe now one problem that we can have sometimes so this box which is only 14 ounces is gonna run on a conveyor belt and it's gonna make a drop most likely from what I've heard they make a drop so it could have a 15 pound just like a brick of a box following along behind it in which case it is possible that it would get crushed, but I feel like the actual product should be safe inside. So we'll see. I do talk to this customer on Instagram quite a lot. She's quite delightful. And so I'll just maybe check in with her and see how it arrived. All right, moving on. This is a pretty good sized order here. So I want to see what I can get accomplished. I'm not sure if I'll be able to make it into this box or not. We'll see. All right, so uh, this customer is one of my um, longest customers and she ordered a bunch of the cranberry mint. I just love how this label turned out. It just makes me so happy. I get asked all the time. I design my own labels. I print my own labels. It's just an HP office jet, not even a laser. There's six of these cranberry mints. And um, I just get my labels from online labels. And we have some peppermint soaps. These are so good. So good. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I need to save room for the spray. So let's see what happens if I pop it up. It's always a matter of, well, where are we? It's always a matter of just figuring out what works best and sometimes it takes a while to get it all figured out. I think we're gonna work. I always like to put a little bit of shred underneath the spray. So this is a snow kissed spray. Then I have two of the eggnog soy wax melts. Most of the wax melts have, hmm, that's not gonna work. It is not going to work. 
Most of the soy wax melts have been packed already. I don't usually do videos until I'm several days into packing, but that usually means that the most popular ones always are gone right away. So we got a sleigh and a snowman. Oh, that is just so perfect. This worked out super duper. Okay, so in with a cocoa. I think I'll send one for her husband as well. So cocoa for the customers. Let's do, she's really tried about everything I've probably ever sold for the holidays. So I think I'll do, I do have some fresh snow. So I think I'll do that, that's just the linen. And I'm going to do a wild berry blizzard. And let's finish off with a winter berry. a sprinkling of tissues needed. Check it off. Eggnog sleigh, eggnog snowman. Four peppermints and six cranberries, cranberry mints. I also have Mary Cranberry soap which is so good. Snow kiss. I am so pleased with my release this year. It wasn't quite as big but I just think as one of those things, it's, it feels like to me, like, nailed it, you know? I just, I'm so happy with my work on it. So, put that in there like so. And I did have some questions on concerns that my soaps weren't cured for this release because my videos have been... You know, just before the release or after the release, but I can assure you my soaps are cured. I am not careless. They are cured and videos are pre-recorded. I don't have time to sit and edit every single day. And I was already kind of um, behind on videos, but I wanted to still get those up. So I started my little winter soap series, Handcrafted Holiday, a little late. But I figure after Thanksgiving, everybody's still enjoying the holidays anyway, right? So that's why I didn't worry about all my videos being up prior to my release. But I admit that I had no clue that people were going to think my soaps weren't cured just because their eyeballs were seeing it at the time that the soap was on sale. So now you know, all is well. Looks like that one needs a little bit of tape to keep everybody together. Just keeping it together. Alright, so we're going with a flat sheet for this one. We have a peppermint soap and Mary Cranberry. Oh, I just love this one. I love the label. Love it. And we have a citrus essential oil soap and a triple milk unscented rainbow soap. Handcrafted soap does naturally just lose weight over time. Um, as it evaporates excess water. So you may see that the shrink might get a little loose or the bars may seem like they're a little bit smaller, but they last longer. And this one is actually still the proper weight. It's actually five ounces instead of 4.5. So I always try to be um, 
very cautious in my weights, but I do also put a note on every single one that said handcrafted soap will continue to lose weight, evaporate water, but this makes for a finer, longer lasting soap. So they always start quite a bit heavier. Now, some of my soaps are priced a little bit higher, like the Mary Cranberry, the, mainly the box soaps, and I want to tell you why. I increased my cut just a little bit so that they would fit in these boxes better. They're the same boxes I've always been using, but the bars are now just a smidgen taller and a smidgen thicker. So even though it may seem like the exact same product, these are all weighing closer to six ounces. So where my uh, size before were usually five, 5.25, etc. So these are a little bit larger, again, I run a dehumidifier so it does help to suck excess moisture out of them and they will decrease a little. It's just the way it is with cold process soap. But I try to be very cautious with my labeling to take that into account. But if they've been cured for a very long time um, after the labeling, then it is possible that they will be right at or slightly under. I decided to weigh that Mary Cranberry and it's 5.85 ounces, but it's marked 5.5. So pretty much everything that fits in this uh, size box now is going to be 5.5 to 6 ounces. Okay, so we we'll obviously want a cocoa. Nothing changes there. And hmm, let's do a Holly Jolly. I try to still put in a couple. I don't have any more essential oil samples. I do not believe. I'm going to put in a Feedy Cream. It's a little smaller sample that I have there. That should do it. Some people are going to get their orders and be like, well, that was a wonky way to fold an invoice slash packing slip. I'm not trying to be rude about that. I just, I find it amusing and so, when I get corrected on something and it becomes kind of a situation temporarily, then it gets stuck in my head and then, then the air quotes come out and sometimes I just can't keep the air quotes out. They just happen. I'm just a real person here, packing orders. That's all there is to it. But I sure do appreciate everybody. I really do. So I'm going to get out some ribbon here. These flat ones, I still tie ribbon around them. I try to treat every package the same, unless I get really restricted on weight. But even then, I tend to just upgrade shipping so that I can put in all the extras. I just think you guys are so cool for ordering. So I just, I like to be extra. Maybe that's a good way to say it. I didn't do an intro on this one today, guys. I'm just in my casual, my casual self. I didn't feel like doing my hair up all fancy pants and putting on makeup, which make me feel all slimy anyway in the long run, but I don't always feel camera ready, you know? So I didn't do an intro for this one. I hope you don't mind. I tend to just work and be comfortable in a t-shirt and soft pants. That's what I call them, soft pants. Um, one time I had somebody comment and said, well, you're wearing your mom pants. Well, I was wearing pants and I am indeed a mother. So, and I guess I was wearing mom pants, but I wasn't wearing those high-waisted jeans, if that's what we were getting at. I don't see the point in being uncomfortable in jeans when I'm on my feet working all day, pretty much by myself. I mean, what's the point in that? I just soon be comfortable if I'm gonna be on my feet for 12 hours if you know what I mean. But as a result, I'm not exactly as camera ready as I would prefer. I'm sure most of you wouldn't mind, but you know what I mean. 
right, friends, so I realized I just kind of yammered through five packages, so that's awesome. I am going to end this video here, and I'm going to see what I can get out before the end of the day. Thanks for watching, guys.